Hi, this is Scott Warner with Inovia Consulting, and thank you for taking some time today in your interest in Microsoft Business Central. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on batch reporting. The reason for batch reporting is to make it easy for production employees to enter accurate data on a single screen, which allows your production employees to be as efficient as possible. Before we actually get into the batch reporting side, let's go into an item card and just kind of show you what we're going to be working on today. So we'll sit here and search. We'll go to the Italian meatballs. This M240 or T400. You can see that we've clearly we've currently got 2,000 pounds on hand with another thousand in a product in production orders. If we want to drill into this, uh, you can see that there have been four uh, production orders completed, uh, each at 500 pounds, giving us our 2,000 pounds of inventory. You can see that we have a thousand pounds left, uh, which let me blow this up real quick, uh, which makes up these last two that we've still got yet to produce, uh, each another 500 pounds, giving us that thousand mark that we're trying to hit. And when we're done with this batch report, I'll come back and show you that how the uh, inventory has increased and the production orders have decreased. So we've got this kind of in our ribbon up top. We're gonna go into our batch reporting. Uh, where this all begins is from uh, just an order number. Uh, you can assume that this would be on a handheld uh, device on uh, on the production floor where they could actually just be scanning these items in. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick with this. We're going to go to those two we had just selected. So we're going to do 19 here. See our Italian meatballs on our output. It's got our 500 and down below it's what we're going to be consuming to make that up. It'll pull in the expected quantity based on batch size that is defined in the production formula. Formulas are similar to production bombs uh, with formulas having just a little bit more information. In this case, we're making meatballs by the pound with a capacity of 500. Underneath, like I said, it pre-populates uh, under the consumption, shows your expected quantities. Your production employees will have the ability to change uh, if there are any variances. Um, but the idea is to make this easy uh, for your production employees. So in this case, we don't have any any variances set up. Uh, the only thing we have left to do then is to report our lot numbers. So we'll go in to uh, our output and we'll give that a lot number. Uh, you can either auto assign or look up a lot number. Uh, since we aren't combining this to anything, we're gonna just have it assign its own lot number. Um, and then we'll go in We'll hit manage and item tracking lines and we'll just manually go in here and have this We've got 850 pounds. We only need 150. So that'll work. And it'll automatically go ahead and start populating these lines. So we'll just kind of click down through here. Just keep doing the same thing. Again, assuming this would be on a handheld, this would be uh, just a quick scan of each one of these uh, to add its own lot number in. And then we're not going to lot track the water, obviously. Um, so with that, we're all set. Everybody's got their own lot numbers. Our output's going to have its own lot number. Uh, from here, all we'll simply do is post, and we're going to hit that the order has been finished. Just like that. Uh, we're done there. It brings us back to our home screen. If we want to look up our finished good item or finished production orders, so we'll go to finished production orders. You can see that one we just did, 19 here. Just gives you your information, uh, due date and last date modified, what it was, uh, what our source number was, uh, how, how many pounds we had uh, created, and your cost uh, as well, So and your finished quantity. So from there, we'll go back to our item card, and we'll see that our our inventory has changed. 
go to our Italian meatballs 20, uh, 2,400. You can see now that we've got 2,500 pounds with only 500 uh, pounds left on our production order. Drill into that. You can see our, our latest one is up there, uh, 19 here with another 500 pounds. So with that, that is batch reporting uh, in, a, in a quick video. Uh, thank you again for your interest in Microsoft Business Central and have a great day.